I'm just a little more, I'm a little more, I'm too, a little too militant. I'm a little more Malcolm than I am Martin. You know what I'm saying, what I'm saying? Like, I love them both, but I'm a little more, like, if you don't want to serve me or deal with me because of the color of my skin, that's fine. You do your thing, I'll do my thing. We'll have our own separate things, right? Like, I won't even eat at Johnny Rockets because it looks like a place that used to not serve people that look like me. Do you understand what I'm... <laughs> Welcome to Johnny Rockets. Can I take your order? Hell no, you can't take my order. Mm -mm 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 -mm. I was watching a documentary about the sit-ins and I learned a lot about it. But then I thought about it and I realized if I could interview anybody from the civil rights movement, I wouldn't want to interview anybody from the sit-ins or anybody that I already know about, right? The person I want to interview from the civil rights movement is the first black person to ever go into one of those restaurants post-segregation and then order food from that restaurant, and then eat the food from that restaurant. <laughs> you understand what I'm saying? Like, who is this brave Negro? Do you understand? Because it's not like they changed the staff. It's the same racist staff from before. <laughs> it's not like they went on a weekend retreat to discuss the importance of diversity. Nope, same racist staff <laughs> from before. I'm just saying, you know what, if I went to go get my prescription filled at the pharmacy and I saw that my arch nemesis, my worst enemy, was the one filling my prescription, I'd be like, you know what, crabs it is, I can scratch. That's, <laughs> that's all right, I don't. Oh, you know what you want to do now, right? <laughs> you want to subscribe, don't you? Well, do it. Come on, I'm watching. Do it. Do it. Don't be scared, do it. <laughs>